So in this video, we want to see how we can add the title to our pages and how we can make that dynamic because right now it is just showing the URL and we want to customize that the way we want. So we can go to inertia documentation and under title and meta, we can find the information we need. So in inertia, we have a component called head that we can use to include titles or meta tags and so on. Let's start by our home component. I'm going to go to home.jsx. Right before this h1, I'm going to use the head tag that needs to be imported from inertia. Up here, we have three different things imported from inertia. And in our template or markup, we want to use that. So I'm going to open and close the head tag like this. And then within that, I'm going to use the title element so we can set our title. So let's just say home, for example. Now back to our website, if we go to the home page, then we see the text home up there. Now remember in the previous video, we talked about this use page that is also from inertia. And on this use page, we had a property called component. So we could extract that component using the same use page hook and then use it down here for our title. So back to our website, we get the same thing because this use page and the component property on that would give us the name of that component. Now, if you had only a title in your head tags, there is a shorthand for this, and that is using the title attribute or prop on this head element. So if we don't need this, I can just cut this component and paste it up here and get rid of this. Also the closing tag, so I can self close that head tag like this. So now it's just one line of code and we still get the same thing here. You can also set the default title for your whole application. So let's go to our app.jsx and in this create inertia app, we have a title property that we can set. So again, back to documentation, if we go down here, we can set the title like this. So I'm just gonna copy it and paste it here. So we are just passing an anonymous function here and we are saying the title should be the title from our component and the text my app, or we can change it to whatever we want. For example, Laravel Inertia React. So now we have this head tag in our homepage and also this default title in our create inertia app function. So if we go to our website now, it says home and dash, then the name we used here. But if we go to the create page, since it doesn't have a head tag, it just says dash the name of our application. So this is not the best way to implement this. Maybe you can even make this into a ternary operator and say, for example, if the title has a value, then do this. Otherwise, just do this part or whatever name we want to use. So now if we go back to the create page and that dash is gone because we don't have a head element, but if we go to the home page, we have home dash then the name of the application. So I think this is more user friendly, but that's how you can add a default title as well as a specific title for your components. We could also use meta tags in that head element, but one thing you need to keep in mind about meta tags and multiple head tags is that you could have multiple meta tags with the same name. We would not have that problem with the title because only one title can be accepted at a time. However, that doesn't apply to meta tags and we can have many of them. And again, in inertia documentation, they talk about this under multiple head instances. So for example, in our layout, we have a meta with the name description and in our about page or home page, we also have a meta with the name description. So if we just include this like a normal HTML meta tag, we would have two meta tags with the name description and that would be a conflict. But using head key attribute inside the head tags, we would not have that problem. So let's see this in our application. I'm going to copy this one, which is the default meta tag, for example, and then I'm going to open our layout JSX. So above the header, I'm going to use that head element that needs to be imported from inertia, and then paste that meta tag here. So for the time being, I'm going to delete this head key. So this is just a normal HTML meta. We have the name is description and the content that says this is the default description. Now I'm going to copy this, then go to the create page. Again, create our head tags and paste that meta tag here and change this to this is the create description. So I'm making it like this so it's easier to see. So now let's go back to our website and then inspect it. 
Right now I'm on the home page. And if we open the head tag, we have a meta down here that says this is the default one. But now let's go to the create page. So I am on the create page and Notice we have two meta tags. One is the default one and then for the create page. So this is the problem we have if we don't include that head key. But now let's add this. So I'm going to add this head key attribute to both of these meta tags on the layout as well as the create. And now back to our website, give it a refresh, open the head tag. You notice we don't have default one anymore. We just have the one that is specific to this page. But if we go to the home page, we have our default description because the home page doesn't provide a meta with the name description. So if you are including meta tags for your different components, make sure you use this head key that has the same name as the name of your meta tag so you would avoid conflicts. Now, I don't actually need meta tags, but I will add the title for our create page since we already imported so I can just self close this head tag and say title create and go to the layout and delete this head in our layout we don't actually need this let's also delete it from the import so on the home page we have our title as well as on the create page and that is about creating titles and meta tags for our components